Well, not every day of RV life is fun and exciting and glamorous. In fact, most days aren't like today. And we don't film everything. Contrary to some belief, we don't film everything that we do every day. And I think today is not going to be very exciting, but Leslie thinks it might be. It could be. We are in Beaufort, South Carolina. Yeah. Well, no, we're not in Beaufort. We're in Yemisee. Yeah. There's nothing in Yemisee. The closest thing is Beaufort. Yeah, the closest town is Beaufort. And that's yeah. just like with a Walmart and stuff. <laughs> and there's nothing to do there either. Well, there's some there's little things. Nothing spectacular. So, we will let you be the judge. I don't think it's going to be very exciting. Leslie thinks it might be. So, we're going to film it. And if it is really, really great... Then leave a comment and let Leslie know how great it was. <laughs> and then if it really, really sucks and it's boring, leave a comment and let us know so that I can say, I told you so. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, you just pumped me up. I'm so <laughs> excited right now. <laughs> no, we still have fun. We still have fun. I, mean, I know we... I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. It might not be something that you're into, but I know I'm already going to like it. All right. I, I know this. Well, we'll leave you in suspense. <laughs> and we'll show you what we're talking about You're lucky. when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at a place to see a thing. <laughs> what are we, what are we, where are we, what are we at? We, we are at the Old Sheldon Church ruins. It was a uh, parish that was burned during the uh, American Revolution oh, and then okay. rebuilt. And then pillaged during the Civil War. Isn't that right? Sure. I thought I heard you reading about it. I was reading about it, but I don't remember. I did not retain everything I read. I heard pillaged. And I never said village. I know I didn't say village. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go see the ruins. But there's people buried here, too. Okay. That's interesting stuff. Yeah, we like stuff like that. All right. It wasn't pillaged. It was just... Sorry to disappoint It was just burnt twice. It was burnt once during the Revolutionary War. And then it burnt again in the Civil War. Yeah, by General Sherman. Yeah. They so, really wanted this church burnt down. Take a look at this. And then... Now take a look at what it looked like when it was intact. And you can see that it was a beautiful church. Yeah. I mean, the ruins are still beautiful even. Wish you could get in there. I know. Like I walk think around. This is actually fairly new. The I think fence? you used to be able to go in. Yeah, people probably ruined it. Probably were tagging it and spray painting. Trashing and it. Just being a-holes and that's probably what ruined yeah. it for everybody yeah yeah you can see they had paths in here so they intended for people to be able to go in here and enjoy it yeah. but there's always a few that ruin it for everybody it would have been really cool to walk around in there yeah but hey um there's some there's some tombstones and stuff around let's go see who's buried over here okay you said somebody famous is buried here well colonel william bull um is buried inside the ruins okay so we can't get in there no but also i read uh general oglethorpe is buried here okay and he designed savannah oh and he he's buried responsible here responsible for the layout of savannah yeah oh. let's we'll see if we can buried. find his yeah we need to find out what hayward she was married to daniel hayward oh it's bull hayward so she was a bull so she would be Colonel Bull, somehow related to Yeah, Colonel somehow Bull. related to Colonel Bull. And this Bullion other Bull. one that I just saw from 1831 said Hayward on it. So that's Anne, who was married to Daniel. This is Daniel. Yeah. And they were somehow related to William. Colonel Bull. Yeah, William. So that's why they are allowed to be out here, I guess. All right, we got another one we're trying to figure out. The one here in the middle is Roland Nichols, World War II, 23 to 43. And I just looked him up. He was killed when his uh, ship was attacked and sunk in World War II. And because of the dates, I'm thinking that this might be his mother. 
born in 1903 and maybe had him at 20 years old because this one over here was born in 27 died in 73 so maybe this was his wife and this was his mother but but they're from Winter Haven Florida I don't know because she's four years older than him and he was only 20 when he died so they could have maybe this or maybe this was maybe this was mom and this was brother and sister sister yeah maybe they weren't married i don't know we don't know the whole story but we did read about um roland who was killed in world world war ii and not sure why they're buried here but yeah it is interesting there are several tombs inside of the fence that we can't get to and i don't know that i'll be able to see who these are but i i'm assuming that at least one of these is probably oh here we go this is bull mary bull you can see this side here wife of john bull so john's probably there there's a third one back there behind that might be oglethorpe over there i don't know because he's be kind oglethorpe. of important there's yeah. a third one over there which is probably another bull and there's several in here that where the headstones have just just fallen down completely and since we can't get in there Mary's the only one that we can read. Well, I tell you, it's it's more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought we were just going to come look at the ruins and go, okay, awesome. <laughs> Next. But it is more interesting. So um, we'll leave a link in the description to anything that we can find if you're interested in going to look at it. Because there's there's a couple mm -hmm. websites that talk about it. Um, and but I don't know. There's so many unknowns. Yeah just don't know they do old service out here the second Sunday after Easter every year it's the only function allowed here anymore yeah there used to be a venue for weddings and stuff that would be nice but that was ended in 2015 oh, okay so. but yeah it would be nice to come out here for that service I'm it's sure very it's beautiful really but, nice yeah it just sucks it sucks you can't get in there anymore really that's what yeah. sucks because there's so many other just really graves it. and stuff in there that you don't even know who they are. Yeah. They should at least put up placards on the outside of the fence to let you know who's in there. Some more information. Don't leave us hanging. Yeah. It bothers me that the British were the first to burn it down. Dang Brits. <laughs> well, then <laughs> we burned it in the Civil War after yeah, that. Yeah, the federal too, only. So finished federal, her off. Yeah, burned it again. Yeah. But. All right. Let's go find something else. All right. Leslie chose poorly. She wore pants today, but she brought shorts with her in case it got warm. So she's over there changing. I can't point the camera that way. Cause she'll murder me. I will. But uh, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're gonna go on this little walk, and we'll take you with us. As soon as Leslie gets done porky pigging it over here. Well, <laughs> you have your pants on yet? Uh, yeah. All right, we're at the Cypress Wetlands, home to a bunch of birds and maybe gators. Maybe gators. Maybe. They may live here. <laughs> we don't know for sure. I know they live here. <laughs> they absolutely live here. I can already see the birds out there. Yeah, it's supposed to be home to a ton of like those white egrets. Uh, I can see a bunch of them from right here. We haven't walked down the thing yet. A little bridge out here that you can walk through the, the wetlands. See the birds a little closer up. Might see some gators out here. I see signs everywhere that says don't go out here because there's gators. Even though the first sign said they may live here. Apparently they do. A bunch of turtles over here. Yeah. Over on this little... Oh, there's a gator out there too. See the gators? There's like several gators out there. Mm -hmm. Wow. See three gators. Three small gators and a bunch of turtles. Leslie would take home one of those little gators. I would. I would so put him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one. He's got his nose like in the water. Like he's gotta be holding his breath. Even though most of his body's out of water, he's gotta be holding his breath because he's got his face under the water. He's the perfect size to just take home. Yeah, they are cute. I know that sounds weird for alligators, but to us, alligators are, are cute. We see we see scout when we when we see yeah. alligators. I mean, a little electrical tape around the mouth makes them even cuter. <laughs> yeah, but. just make sure they don't bite your hand off. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Makes them more snuggly. Yeah. 
This little island here is just covered with those white birds. What are they called? Egrets? Egret. The this egrets? This is what you can find here. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. A bunch of different kinds of birds you can find here. Ooh, blue heron. Yeah. Some pretty birds. Most of them are hanging out right in here. I want to see one of these. You want to see one of what? Carolina chickadee. A Carolina chickadee? <laughs> I want to find one. All right. There's nests in there too. You can see where they're sitting on nests back there. Storks. I bet there's so much bird shit in there. <laughs> well, I just saw some wood storks. I don't know that I've ever seen a stork before. Yeah, first In the one. wild. Yeah. They're right up there in the nest. Yeah, there's some more over here. Up here. here. <laughs> and then I noticed on the bank over there, there's a bunch of turtles and then there's some bigger alligators. The little guys were back there behind us in the shallower water, but over here on this little peninsula that comes out, there's some decent sized gators out there. All right, Leslie figured out a way to figure out how big alligators are. I mean, it would be, it's still a rough estimate to figure it out, but they say to measure between their eyes and their nostrils. So for an example, if it was four inches between a gator's eyes and nostrils, he would be about four feet long. Okay. So you're guessing the distance because you're not going to literally go measure. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, go grab your tape measure and measure between the eyes and nostrils. See how that goes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to go it's too a, well. It's a guess, but... Yeah. And they have two sets of eyelids. I knew that. I did know that. You got that clear one the that clear lens, goes over yeah. first to protect from getting poked by sticks and stuff like that when they're I did underwater. Know, I didn't know that a male gator is called a bull. And a female gator is a cow. I did not know that. I know they'll probably eat a bull or a cow. <laughs> we both came around that corner right there, coming this way. Came around there and about shed our pants because <laughs> this is sitting there. The crap. A little sculpture. That's the litter gator, just to kind of make you aware of you know litter and how it impacts the environment. But when you come around the corner there, it's right there. So you're like, whoa. Catch you off guard there for a second. Hearts. We both did a double take. I hate yeah. God. I hate that. Another gator right over there. He's looking right at us. Like, uh, what you guys doing over here? Get the hell out of here. It's crazy how the birds they just don't mind. They're right up next to the gators. Turtles are right up next to the gators. But I guess you know if the if the gators seems kind of docile and fed. Well, I yeah, worry about it. I did read. I read, yeah, that they eat average once a week. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, so, scouts about twice a week. So yeah. They're so once a week. So if he's already been fed, there's nothing to fear. Yeah. And they could go as long as two years if they're just sitting still. That's crazy. Two years between eating. I think the longest scout's gone is probably maybe a couple of months. You're in the winter time, during yeah, brumation. Yeah, almost go, a month, and I go. made him get come out and eat because yeah. it just freaked me out. But yeah, yeah it's a, two years is impressive. That is impressive. Now that's just sitting still. I don't know how you sit still for two years either. That's impressive. Well, I guess the alligators that are like right on the border of of being cold in the cold areas yeah. and the warm areas. If it's really cold, I mean, I've even seen them where they stick their snout yeah. out of the water and, and the, the water freezes, freezes and they yeah. just stay there all winter, all winter frozen with which their is snout months. out. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah. obviously they're not eating during that time. No, but two years, that's, that's a long time. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That is kind of a, just a kick around day for us. Yeah, and typically we wouldn't film a day like this, but Leslie wanted to. Yeah. Just to kind of show you what we do on days that we're not filming, we're just out kicking around. I don't think they're interesting enough to really film, but Leslie does. So we figured we'd give it a try. And so we didn't do anything fancy. We just brought the phone with us. We didn't bring any fancy camera work or anything. Yeah, but like when that. we're not going to an attraction, this is what we'll do. We'll yeah. find a place to just go for a walk and you'll see some cool stuff. Yeah, so leave us a comment. Let us know if you liked it or not. If you do, <laughs> we'll keep doing stuff like this. Uh, if it's boring and you don't and you hate it, let us know that too, and we won't do it anymore. Well, I'm still gonna do it, I just won't show it. Well, we're still going to do this stuff. We just, we just want to know whether you think yeah. it's worth us filming and showing to you or not. But anyway. Uh, I, think I could that's... spend all day out there. Yeah, we could have. Yeah. We were out here for, I don't know, a while. Yeah. 
Um, hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, we're going to honor Roland Nichols. Okay. The grave that we found out there, the World War II uh, veteran who was killed in action in World War II nice. when his vessel was sunk. Uh, so stick around. I'll try to find as much information on him as I can. And uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.